Hi. So there's been a lot of talk on the internet about how you can do modals and rails, and I thought I'd just show you how I'm doing it. I'm using Stimulus, because uh, that just seems to work really well. I'm using the Stimulus Outlets, which is a really nifty feature where you can get two different controllers to talk to each other. And that means you can have different bits of the page communicating, and that's how we're going to use to display our modals and actually put it in the right spot. And this is based off what I saw with some of the headless UI, what they do for their dialogues. And uh, Vue.js does the same thing where you have kind of like a, uh, a portal where you put the HTML that you want to display at the bottom of the page. And that way, when you display it, it's going to show up in the right spot, sort of Z order, where it's not getting covered by anything. And so that means we're going to have to do two techniques. One of them, obviously, the stimulus controllers to communicate with that. The second one was we're going to use a, a yield tag to, to put our server rendered HTML in a specific block. And then we'll, when the page loads, it'll actually put that outside of our, our partial so that it's available so that we can use it. So let's get started. The first thing I want to show you is um, just what the page looks like. Obviously, the add an event and then the day view. Those are the two mod modals that we'll be concerned with. The day view, uh, pretty straightforward. Um, it's got a button. We'll have the one controller is the modal dropdown. And the action is to toggle that. And that looks pretty, pretty similar to what you see on a regular stimulus controller. What I'm doing is creating a random ID. And we'll use that to communicate with the two different stimulus controllers. And that gets set here for the outlet. And there's a modal view outlet. And so the, this controller here, very, really just this button. It's called day view. And you can see it just drops that down. Now that content here, day view, week view, is in a block, content for modal which will show, I'll show you where that gets yielded on the application page. It takes that same ID, the random ID we generated before. It has a different controller modal view, and that modal view is going to uh, be responsible for displaying and actually moving the HTML to the right spot. It's obviously toggled to false to begin with. Uh, it's got some CSS to put in the right spot, and then just some content here. And then just to show you the add event, same idea, different ID, but a modal dropdown, with an outlet to that ID, and then the same kind of bit, another yielded modal block, another stimulus controller, that's a modal view, and you'll note that I'm using a turbo frame tag, and that's where you run into issues with network connectivity, because that's a second network request. So there's a couple ways you could do this one. I'm setting this source to the new event path. It'll load in the new event. I'm not making it lazy, because I, I, I kind of want it to just load immediately so that it's available. Um, if you have a really good network connection, um, you know, you can make that lazy loading and then it just shows a little skeleton and then it fleshes in with the HTML. Now, our application .html here, pretty standard application.html page. Here at the bottom, I've got yield modal. And so what this does, if you actually go to the source for this page, you look at this, so the button's here. And I see it, my HTML flow. But the modal is actually all the way at the bottom here. And I've got the two modals that are getting put at the end of the um, application.html. And you see the different IDs, the controllers, and everything. And we're using some, uh, I'll show you in the controller, but we're using some of the styling to move into the right spot. And you see they both kind of fall into place. The stimulus controllers, the Modal view is going to be the more complicated one. And so this one takes a toggle command, if you will, from the other controller. And it's going to uh, toggle the hidden class on this. And then what it does is it gets the client rect. So the, the rectangle of the button that clicked it finds out that sp spot in space. And then it's going to actually change the, the style of the modal, move it into place. And then we're using some animation values. Um, if we are making it appear as so the toggle value is true, so this is going to appear, we're doing a little bit of animation to kind of make it look fun. So you'll notice I click it and it sort of swings into place. You know, zero height at the beginning, small scale, and then it kind of expands in the height and the scale. Same with this. So a nice animation right there. The modal drop down is actually very simple. All it does is connects to the outlet and then toggle calls toggle on the outlet. And because of the way the outlets work in stimulus, you know, there's very little configuration other than just having that ID right there. So this is actually really cool. 
Then if we pop over to the new page for the new event, it's got the turbo frame tag, and that's gonna match the turbo frame tag here. And so the turbo is going to swap in this new form. I'm using flat picker for the date pickers, just to give a nice little touch. And that's all you could do. That's that's modals in a row. That's all server side rendered, and then just a little bit again, just a, just enough JavaScript in order to get that interactivity. Um, and this works uh, works pretty well with our toggling. So we're just reload the page from scratch. Obviously, the server rendered one because it's on the HTML. It's just going to be there. This one should have loaded. So if we look here, Turbo fetched it, and so if I just click it, it's actually going to show up. So this was server side rendered uh lazy you know sort of loaded after the fact but it's available two and a half seconds four and a half seconds after the page loads so there is a delay for the network bit but it's not a delay when i click the button it's just a delay uh in the initial page loading so kind of a front uh front end first style if you will that's how i'm doing models right now uh it's been working really well for me i hope this is helpful for you as you kind of think about how you're going to add modals and again, interactivity to your Rails app without having to resort to a full-on single page application. Enjoy. Please like, leave a comment if you got a question, and subscribe. Thank you.